The Gunslinger is the first book in Stephen King's The Dark Tower series, which consists of a total of eight individual books. It focuses on the trip that the protagonist, anti-hero Roland Deschaines, takes to discover the man in black. The Gunslinger is ultimately a journey narrative that focuses on Roland's physical and spiritual mission to kill the man in black and uncover the mysterious tower. The story incorporates aspects of the horror, fantasy, and western genres, but at its core, it is a western. The events of The Gunslinger take place in a universe that is both similar and distinct from our own. Even though there are various parallels to Christianity and religious terminology, as well as countless references to legendary popular culture, such as individuals singing the Beatles' Hey Jude, the backdrop is a post-apocalyptic desert that mimics the American Old West. This, in conjunction with the fact that Roland is a Western gunslinger who hails from a King Arthurian-type feudal culture, results in a warped sense of both time and location. It is never made clear if the narrative is taking place in the past, present, or future, or whether it is taking place in an alternative world or some kind of afterlife. This sensation of disorientation is further exacerbated by the fact that very little information is known about Roland, including his age, his motivations, or his objectives. The only facts that seem to be clear are that time does not pass in an orderly fashion, that conflicts have obliterated whole cities and regions, and that the earth appears to be bereft of any kind of civilized existence. In point of fact, the vast majority of persons that Roland comes into contact with are either afflicted with an illness, mad, or seem to be under some kind of spell. The book is divided into five primary chapters, and within each chapter are various, numbered parts. The novel also has a prologue and an epilogue. In each chapter, Roland's search for the man in black and his final mission to reach the tower are chronicled, and the many individuals he encounters along the way are introduced. At the beginning of the book, the protagonist, Roland, is wandering across a desert that is for the most part deserted until he comes across a farmer called Brown and the farmer's raven, Zoltan. Although the majority of the narrative is told in a chronological fashion, in the sense that it follows Roland on his journey, many of the individual chapters are told via flashbacks. After Roland has met Brown, the narrative makes a quick jump back in time to when Roland was in the rundown village of Tull. While Roland was in Tull, the man in black had brought a dead man back to life, and this would later turn out to be a trap for him. In the end, everyone in the village turns against Roland as a result of the dark magic performed by the man in black. As a result, Roland is forced to murder everyone in order to escape, including the woman he loves, Alice. Returning to the present, Roland is forced to abandon Brown and travels into the desert, where he comes dangerously close to passing out from lack of water. Jake Chambers, a little boy who does not know how he got there, is there when he collapses at an abandoned way station. Roland finds out that Jake is from another universe, which seems to be Manhattan, after hypnotizing the youngster and learning that after being crushed by a car and dying, he suddenly woke up at the way station. Roland invites Jake to accompany him on the voyage, and after enduring a great deal of difficulty, the two eventually reach a mountain range. Roland is certain that this is the location where the man in black has been hiding all along. In order for Jake and Roland to meet the man in black, they have to make their way via a pitch black tunnel that runs through the center of the mountain. Following the discovery of an ancient railway handcar, which the two utilize to make their journey through the darkness more quickly, they come across slow mutants, who are luminous green quasi-humans that attempt to eat Jake. Roland uses his firearms to shoot at them, and he and Jake make their escape. However, Roland is the only one who survives the ordeal and emerges from the tunnel. In the end, 
Jake is forced to make the ultimate sacrifice for Roland by falling into a pit so that he may continue his mission. Roland comes face to face with the man in black, also known as Walter, as they emerge from the tunnel. Through the use of tarot cards, Walter gives Roland a glimpse into his destiny, although one that is quite ambiguous. Walter then shows Roland a vision of the vastness of the cosmos in the hopes that it would convince Roland to abandon his mission, but Roland remains unmoved. As Roland comes to from the vision, he notices that he has aged 10 years and is now seated next to a skeleton, who he believes to have been Walter in a previous life. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.